Luxury Residential Developer SC Global Developments has set the benchmark for high-end living with many firsts. In 2005, BLVD became the first residential development in Singapore offering on-site concierge service for residents while in 2011. The map on Patterson Hill set a new standard in luxury, living as the first and one of the only residential developments globally to have a swimming pool cantilevering from every unit of a residential building. The condominium was also the first in the world to have an apartment entirely decorated by Hermes. The developer's ability to think beyond convention, as well as daring to execute these ideas, have raised the bar of high-end apartment living in Singapore since it was founded in 1996. It stems from a deep awareness of the elevated living expectations and desires of the wealthy and well-traveled target group, as well as a commitment to working with esteemed architects to provide original meticulously designed and well-thought-out living solutions. Designed by SCDA Architects, Cuscaden Reserve is SC Global Development's latest release, which addresses yet another spatial challenge, that of the compact city apartment. The condominium is co-developed together with New World Developments and Far East Consortium. Located along Cuscaden Road, it has 192 apartments. Most are one dash, two, and three bedroom units, ranging from 700 square feet to one. 163 SQ Fort. There is also a bespoke collection of four bedroom, 2,099 square foot units, located from the 21st floor with panoramic city views towards Orchard Boulevard for families who enjoy more generous entertainment spaces in their homes. The prime unit is a 3,755 square feet duplex penthouse on the 27th and 28th floors. The luxury of space with generously proportioned common areas that exude an ambience of a resort-style retreat is one of the defining principles of SC Global Properties that differentiates their developments in the market. Cuscaden Reserve's peerless location and apartment size is well placed in the market to take advantage of those seeking quality alongside the most efficiently designed spaces for investment. Said Simon Chong, founder and chairman of SC Global Developments. This is the third development released under SC Global's PT Collectibles series that addresses the demands of the market for smaller size apartments. While apartments with flexible internal layouts are not uncommon in Singapore, the extent of flexibility in the Poti collectibles is unparalleled, Chong highlighted. Completed in 2012. The multi award winning Martin No. 38 designed by Carrie Hill Architects was the first property in the series and remains the inspiration for the latter offerings. Formerly a warehouse. It has one to three bedroom units, with the smallest starting at 969 SQ Fort sliding panels between the living and sleeping areas in the smaller units, allow for flexible use. The second property in the Puti Collectibles series is Puti Jervos, completed in 2022 and designed by local firm RTE plus Q Architects. The low-rise development digs deeper into the discourse on compact apartment living. With 55 one to three bedroom units, ranging from 581 square feet to 1,044 square feet. In some units, wet services are located in the central core, enabling residents to move freely on the perimeter. Hence augmenting the sense of space as well as increasing the surface area for window views. Like in Martin No. 38, large sliding panels instead of conventional doors in some areas of certain units, enable residents to customize their homes according to desired work-life entertainment needs. The buyers and residents of the Petit Collectible Homes are a mix of young business professionals, empty nesters and foreigners seeking a stylish, centrally located pied de terre as their Singapore home. Said Chong With changing lifestyles and work habits, we have noticed that many residents are increasingly using their homes for both work and play. 
The flexible layout allows them fluidity in how they design their spaces to work from home. Like the other homes in the series, smaller units in Cuscaden Reserve also offer interior sliding walls and modular plans for personalization. In the two-bedroom apartments, residents have the option of using the second bedroom as an extended entertainment, work or creative space that opens into the living area when the sliding walls are pushed open. Understanding the need of private outdoor space, all units come with balconies. These outdoor spaces are generous enough to become outdoor dining areas so that the entire internal common space can be given to a capacious living area. The location of each property was carefully considered. Conceptually, Petit Gervais and Cuscaden Reserve are similar. But the design and architecture of each project are driven by their unique location and lifestyle of their residents. Chong highlighted. Petit Gervais enjoys a cozy, low-rise riverside village vibe, being located near the landscape Alexander Canal, whereas Cuscaden Reserve is located in one of the most coveted locations in the heart of the city. Right next door to global luxury icons like the St. Regis Singapore and Four Seasons Singapore, offering residents a luxurious urban retreat and luxury pie de terra within Singapore's premier lifestyle precinct. Cuscaden Reserve sits on race terrain. Residents drive up a tree-lined driveway where artist Fernando Botero's bulbous bronze horse sculpture provides a dignified welcome. Along the way to the Grand Port Cochere, more sculptures with art and nature into the journey. The building is poised on the highest part of the land to optimize views toward the Orchard area. Orchard Boulevard the Singapore Botanic Gardens and beyond. The condominiums, lush landscape preserves the original sloping nature of the site with a series of interlocking. Cascading plains that follow the natural terrain shared the team at SCDA Architects that has worked with SC Global for over 20 years. On the ground level, an event pavilion, Sprawling yoga garden and soft chlorinated swimming pool are integrated into the landscape terraces. The building itself is a clear, elegant volume of curtain glass, etched with golden bronze fins and raised on stoic aluminium clad columns. The high level of detailing and finishes extends to the interiors, with custom design millwork built by skilled artisans to include built-in dehumidifiers and dedicated compartments for jewellery and watches. Petit collectibles are designed to bring together all the finer details that one would expect of SC Global's larger-scale luxury apartments without any compromise on the quality of the materials or attention to fine details. Chong commented. He added, emphasis on craftsmanship, the finest quality materials and design, and luxury appliances that have become the mainstay of an SC Global home can be found in Cuscaden Reserve. Befitting the lifestyle and profile of the expected clientele, the majority of the apartments include private leaf access, a feature that is rarely offered in apartments of this size. The less is more aesthetic and unified design of Cuscaden Reserve pays homage to the Bauhaus movement, where architecture, landscape, art and interiors were equally considered and integrated seamlessly. German architect Walter Gropius, whose goal was to bridge the gap between craftsmanship and architecture, led the movement. Along with Gropius, fellow propagators such as German-American architect Ludwig Mies van der Rohe and Hungarian-American architect Marcel Breuer formed the vanguard of the modernist movement that has shaped today's prevailing modern style of clean lines and structural clarity. In a gentle nod to Brewer, whose design of the UNESCO building in New York was raised on pilotis, Cuscaden Reserve is lifted to allow the landscape to naturally flow through the building, accentuating the seamless connection to its lush surroundings. The unit layouts were inspired by Mies van der Rohe's open-plan concept in the iconic Farnsworth House, where the paradigm of the home becomes rewritten into a fluid plan loosely demarcated 
by vertical planes. The Bauhaus narrative extends to the clubhouse lounge on the first story, where residents can rest on Bauhaus furniture, including the Barcelona chair, designed by Mais van der Rohe and Le Corbusier's LC3 sofa. Or play chess on German sculptor Joseph Hartwig's iconic Bauhaus chess set. Designing purposeful spaces where everyday functionality was not divorced from comfort and aesthetics was mainstay of Bauhaus architects and designers. Likewise at Cuscaden Reserve, this milieu's dissolution of work and living boundaries is given ample thought against the backdrop of greenery outside a band of windows, the lounge, which also contains three private work pots designed for meeting or work use, becomes an extension of residence homes.